so I am here at Our Lady's Tea here at the church, and uh, I've been setting up for a few hours, and um, tonight I am the valet parking guy. It feels good to be home and just to be serving here in our hometown. Tonight, I'm the head chef at the Lady's Tea, and Biff's my right-hand man. That's right, I'm Biff's boss. I let David think that he's the boss of me, but you and I both know who the real boss is. How's it going, guys? Oh, it's beautiful. How are you? Hey. You guys are here hey. extremely early. Out of the blue, the girls show up. Can I talk about the girls? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay, well, uh, go right ahead. I'll, I'll park your cars, I guess. You know, one of the great mysteries of science is the female mind. I am never gonna understand it. Okay, girls, I brought you here early because I wanted to talk to you guys about a road trip. I've been planning a road trip to New York City. To New York? Yeah. For like, what? we're gonna go to New York. Yeah, just, I don't know. I was thinking about it, and I thought, like, the shopping, and maybe we could stay and watch the ball drop. Uh, yeah. New Year's on Eve. New Year's? Sweet. Okay, but we have to tell the yeah. guys. Wait, hey, the guys. boys are going? Yeah. They'll never go for that. They just yep. got off the road. So? No what if we, like, I don't know, like, pitch to them, like, an idea, like, reverse psychology them into making it their idea. Oh. Ooh. That'll definitely work on Isaac, but what about the other guys? I don't know. Maybe we could invite them to do something tomorrow and then all do it together. Yeah, if we lay it on them, all of us at the same time, there's no way they can say no. Well, I'll just sit down, we'll do the puppy dog face. Yeah, we we'll could say, right, just say please take us to New York City. I'm not sure why the girl showed up an hour early, but quite frankly, I don't want to know. We are Mission Six, a band of guys that have been together since the fifth grade. Now that we've graduated high school, we're ready to hit the road and take you with us. Our mission is to ignite a generation to receive and shine the light of Christ. You will see firsthand the opportunities and the challenges that we face as we live life on the road. Eight years since we've started this band, and finally it's our time to break through the darkness of this world and shine the light of Christ. We are City Lights. Desserts. No one told us we had to make those. The ladies' tea always has desserts. <sighs> All right, I have an idea. Here's what we're gonna do. Wait, hold on. You have an idea, dude? Your ideas are terrible. My ideas. Seriously, are... they end in disaster. I watch all of the cooking shows. I know exactly. Dude, those are professional chefs. They do that all the time. Let me, I am the lover of food. Let me handle if the no, food. You're... The only way to motivate these two is competition. You make your idea, you make your idea. In 15 minutes, I'll decide the best idea and we're going to serve it for the team. All right, so it's a challenge. This is Bam First Food. It's always been my dream to be on TV as a cooking show host. On this special episode of Band vs. Food, we have a challenge, okay? Dessert for the ladies' tea. Rule number one, you can only use ingredients that are in this kitchen. Rule number two, you have 15 minutes, okay? Everything must be plated in 15 minutes. Get ready, boys. Go! I got this in the bag before it even starts. Why? I watch cooking shows on TV all the time, and because of that, I've become a master chef. Can I be completely honest with you? 
I was never going to choose Biff to win. I mean, David was clearly the winner from the beginning. David's uh, already got an idea of what he's going to make. I just want to see Biff cook. I mean, Biff cooking. <laughs> Biff cooking. I mean, come on. Biff, can you tell us what you're doing here? Yeah, we're just uh, gonna mix up some pancake batter and then you got the uh, marshmallow, the mellow and the graham. And uh, if there's one thing I know about food is that fried is always fantastic. These ladies, they are going to love what I'm about to put in the fryer for them. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like you got some type of s'more going on here. That's exactly right. I mean, come on, a fried s'more no lady at a tea is gonna eat a fried s'more. Everybody knows women think that campfires are romantic. And what are you chowing down on at campfires? The s'mores. It's cause it's romantic. All right, Dave, looks like we're bringing up something to boil. You got sugar in there. Can you tell us what you're doing right now? Oh, I'm uh, preparing the dip for my sugar grapes. What do ladies love? They love fruit, they love sugar. You take some grapes, you put some sugar on them, you got sugar grapes. Now, tell me, David, is this like a family secret recipe or something? <sighs> no, it's not on TV. Oh, really? The TV is an endless source of knowledge. And the best part is that it's all true. Biff's food theorem. If it ain't fried, it ain't food. So we're gonna take it right over here, and you just plop it right in there, just like that. Yep. And you gotta do a lot more. And then that I'm like a maestro, the great orchestrator, bringing food and romance into beautiful, sweet harmony. All right, Biff, there's two minutes left, man. It looks like you've already got some done, but are you going to be able to get them plated? What oh, is yeah. the question? Yep, yeah, we're just putting the final touches on. Oh, the right final now. touches. Uh -huh. This is the appearance right here. Oh, beautiful. And, and what does that say there? Biff. Things are getting intense, which is a shame because Biff's gonna lose anyway. I need a garnish. I need a garnish. Screaming from the other side of the kitchen, it looks like Biff is struggling to find an ingredient. He needs a garnish for a fried Oreo. Gummies, always a good garnish. This is my trademark. This is the classic. This is the staple. A garnish for a fried Oreo. <laughs> oh, Biff, you're killing me, man. And you're still gonna lose. <sighs> the dishes are completed. It is time for the taste test. Two dishes, one winner. <laughs> I, I, I mean, who am I kidding? I can't take it any longer. I mean, Biff's gonna lose, and David's gonna win. I mean, we all know it. David doesn't stand a chance. Let's see if it tastes well. Nice, crunchy grape bite. You got it at the right, correct ripeness. Yes. You know, grapes can be smushy sometimes. Mm -hmm. They're just grapes. They don't touch my fried fantastic. Okay, it's worms riding on the sled, Christmas time. You've taken a, a normal graham and a marshmallow, and you've turned it into something actually very tasteful and interesting. Right, so I do like I do like the garnish. Again, a little bit burnt. Did he just say it's burnt? Obviously it's blackened. I've made a decision, and the winner of band versus food is David Horner. What? On presentation alone. What? Are you crazy? What? That's so superficial. Look, you got the chocolate. That is, that's the way to a woman's heart. Biff is going off. No, I'm done with this. Nobody appreciates me around here. This is sheer politics. I can't even stand it anymore. All the junk that goes on around here. David, wait, I mean, give me a break. Huh. You know what? You know what? What? You know what? You don't think I can be elegant? You don't think that I can chime with those ladies in there? You don't think I can be one of them? Well, watch this. Michael is so full of garbage. He sits around here and thinks he knows so much about everything. I know all things, says Michael Power. It's a joke. 
Watch this! Now that I have composed myself, I'm going to walk into that tea and show each and every one of those ladies just how elegant I can be. doing my job trying to serve the grapes and all of a sudden I start hearing this really irritating noise like <laughs> and I was like man that can't be coming from a lady I do love me some scone oh Cindy Cobb oh I love her I love her Biff how dare you try to interrupt this elegant event these ladies are trying to have I gotta get you out of here man As head chef, I'm gonna have to kick you back to the little ladies' tea party. Get back there. Get back to the kids. What kind of man are you eating tea in public? Maybe you can handle that. enough that David kicked me back here. But what are they teaching these girls nowadays? I mean, you call this a tea party? Where's the party? So we're here at church at the princess tea party. Yes, so elegant. And you can see we've got the tea all around us. Look at that's just lovely. That's just beautiful. You know what? This is nice. This is dainty. This is cute. It's elegant, but you know, I'm sick and tired of my face getting shoved in the mud. But as I see it, it's destiny. I was sent here to teach these girls how to throw a real tea party. There's two things this party needs. First thing, yeah, man. Some sugar. What we have? Move it. <laughs> Now this, this is a tea party. You know, I'm just trying to do my job. All of a sudden I hear chanting and I think, oh no, that's coming from the little lady's room. What are you doing? All these children, they are out of their minds. Guys, who told you you could do this? Oh my gosh. I lost my shoes! He's got these girls in a frenzy. I gotta get Biff out of here before their parents come in and kill us. Oh, no, stop. Biff, come on. No, don't do more damage than's already been done. I don't care if you drag me out. I've made a difference here, and that's something I can be proud of. Luckily, after this tea's over, I'm heading to my grandparents' house in Ohio, so maybe I'll actually get some peace.
apparently we got a ton of snow last night. And you know what that means? I gotta send a text to the guys. I got the text from Noah. Lucas and I went to pick Biff up and I was shocked when we got there. All right, let's get in the hot tub. I'm talking about changing in my car. Got up? Come on, man. I'm telling you, dude, you're gonna die out here. Dude, no, it's the logic of it. Think of it. Okay. What logic? Which is better, being burning hot in a coat before getting into the hot tub, or being freezing cold before stepping into the majestic heat? You can change in his house and when you get in the hot tub, man. You get cold, you get as cold as you possibly can. Okay, is it worth getting hypothermia or a frostbite? I really wish sometimes I was making this stuff up. I'm telling you, man, you're gonna get a frostbite. Nah, forget it. Alright, forget it. Bring it. What on earth are you doing? It's, it's so awesome. You are insane. <laughs> I love the hot so tub. You guys may be laughing now, but I'm going to be laughing at you when I get the most enjoyment out of that hot tub. I, I just went to a whole new level of pure joy. You know, we just got off the road and it feels fantastic to just take a load off, kick back, and relax. I was I was thrilled. I was ready to get back out, but now coming off this of is that long stretch. <laughs> this ain't bad. This it's hard to beat. Yeah, I don't mind this too much. As great as this feels, it could feel better. I'm gonna show all of these guys what it truly means to be a man. I'm gonna run to the tree in the snow. The amount of jubilation that I'm feeling right now is uncontainable. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm man. gonna do it. You... All right, man. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Careful, man. Careful. Oh. I can't let Biff push us around like that. I mean, somebody has got to stand up to this guy. I mean, he's been pushing us around for too long. It's my time. And he's off, folks. There he goes, one lap around. Here he comes. His feet are burning. And he's flying oh, safe. How you gonna answer that, buddy? Is that all you got? Okay, what'd you say? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You brought a knife to a gunfight, bruh. Watch this. Go to, you, baby! No, go to, go to. What the? Play by play, here we go. You mix oh, he's stuck. He's, oh, he's up. He's frozen, he's stuck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> he cut the back. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. on the ground. Oh. His body's shutting down. You do not bring Biff's manliness into question. You did it. Bro. You did it. <laughs> 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 it's a Man, just as things were starting to get back to normal and cool down a bit, I got this text from Taylor, and her and all the girls are together and invited us to go sledding with them. I guess we're sledding.
now, let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet. And you know, the reality is this. Every person on this planet is alike in one way, and that is sin. Sin is something that marks every single one of our lives, and we're all stained by it. This is something we can't escape. Our hands, our hearts, our lives are marked by this disease called sin. It binds us, it confines us, and it holds us from the truth. Any, anything I'm trying to do good in my life, I keep sinning. I can't escape that fact. And we're all alike in that way. And one thing I want to set straight is that sin is not bad because it's forbidden by God, but God forbids sin because it is bad. It is a crimson stain that marks our lives, and it tears us apart, staining every part of us. The truth is we can't escape this alone. You know, and the worst part about sin is not only what it does to us right now, but the eternal stain that it marks our lives with. In Proverbs, it would say sin is a rope that will tie you up. And David would write in Psalms 38, there is no soundness in my flesh because of the sin in my bones. And then again in Isaiah, we would read, but your iniquities have separated you from your God and your sins has hid his face from you that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, your fingers with iniquity. This staining sin of separation between us and our God is a curse that we cannot lift. It's a stain that we can't wash away. And I'm just left here thinking, what on earth are we to do with this stain that we cannot do anything about? There has to be a change. I want to tell you what God has done. That separation of sin that separated us from Him, He became that. And as Jesus would spread His arms out on the cross and say, Father, why have you forsaken me? At that point, He would become our sin and be separated from the Father in heaven. And you know, that is incredible news for you and for me because God loved us enough to be forsaken in our place. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. That was some good setting. That was pretty fun. Fantastic. It was nice to get back fun. out to it. It's been a while. My toes were pretty <laughs> cold. Yeah, yeah. Cool. The cocoa yeah. is straight money. That fire. So you yeah. Yeah. The van's that nice, fire. but it doesn't it get much better than this. No. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, yeah, it's nice coming off a road trip. It's like oh. kind of chilling out a little bit. I know, dude. Kind of There's nice. nothing okay, better. Okay, guys. So, we were talking. Yeah, just talking. We were just kind of discussing it, I mean, thinking about it. We were thinking that, you know, you guys get to go on all these fun road trips. And we never get to go. Yeah. Yeah, we like did. we just get stuck at home. So, we decided that we want to go on a road trip. To New York City. On New Year's Eve. Yeah. Basically. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 You want to go on the road? Yes. Yeah. Like travel. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Can you Are you laughing? Yeah. Do you not think we can Come handle on. it? No way. <laughs> Isaac. Yeah. We, yeah. Had a we, can, we can do anything you guys Come want to do. On. Like, There's no way. I mean, we've been traveling <laughs> for so long. Okay, and we became men. Are you All right? We can handle the world it, girls. There's no place for women. Okay? Oh. I mean, there's sleepless <laughs> nights. There's crammed in a vehicle. I mean, there's no stopping. No there's shower no shopping. For three days. When was the last time you went grunge? 
No makeup, no shower, straight BO, walking down the New York City. Yeah, exactly. We have to have you guys don't take deodorant on the road. When you go on the road, you're out on a mission. It's like you hit the road and you keep going. What are we even going to do in New York City? Like, well, what's the point of going? Watch the ball drop. I already said that. You can watch oh on TV. Gosh. They televise it. It's a beaut. You get it's a not great the same. angle of it. It's not. You can like, see it. Because listen, it's like a when awesome you're sitting there, listen, 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 listen. We want to go. You, you gotta be kidding. Please. Pup, pup, pup. Okay. Please. Okay. All right. Please. We can go. <laughs> as long as you promise just not to complain, not to whine. It's going to be hard. Have we oh. ever? Well, see, Pinky's here's, here's okay. what I'm thinking. Take that back. This trip is a once in a lifetime trip. Uh-huh, exactly. So this could be our once in a lifetime. <laughs> it's true. The Biff has spoken. So it's a yes? You're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone. I mean, yeah. we'll do it to rough it. Yeah, exactly. We can rough it, snuggle. Right. Look at us right now. <laughs> Here's your once in a lifetime. Once so it's a, a yes? To New York City. <laughs> It's been a great day today, and I'm really looking forward to this trip, but as for this time right now, it couldn't be any better. I think it's important that, you know, we all have people who are going to encourage us and build us up uh, in our walk with the Lord and who are going to push us towards His will. And I'm blessed to have people in my life that are going to do that for me. And I want to do the same for my friends and family. God has a purpose for us in every circumstance we're in. And because of the work He has already done, Man, it is just a blessing to live life from that. I mean, we get to live this life to the fullest because of what He has done for us. We hope that you've enjoyed watching City Lights and hopefully you've got a taste of what it's like to be on the road. But you know what? The journey doesn't end here. We want to come to your city. So to find out how to do that, visit us at mission6.org. On there, you'll find pictures, videos, music, and everything you need to bring us to your town. So until next time, remember that you are the light to your city and together we make City Lights. Uh